This is Salvatore Minio Jr., known better as the Hollywood actor Sal Minio. Sal was born on the 10th day of January in 1939 in the New York City Bronx. His father, Salvatore Sr., and his mother, Josephine, were originally from Sicily. And they moved to the Bronx in order to give their kids a better life. Sal had two brothers, Michael, who was born in 1937, and Victor, who was born in 1936. They had one sister, Serena. Sal was a troubled youth from an early age, and he had trouble in school and began running with street gangs. Now, to help him to stay out of trouble, his mother enrolled him in a dance acting school. This, of course, led into acting, which he became interested in and dearly loved. At the age of 11 in 1951, he was cast in a play by Tennessee Williams called The Rose Tattoo. Shortly after, he won a part in The King and I that starred Ewell Brenner. And in 1955, when he was only 16 years old, he was in the movie Rebel Without a Cause that starred James Dean and Natalie Wood. He was the youngest actor to be nominated for the Best Supporting Actor of a Movie to that date. He was also nominated for the Best Supporting Actor for the movie Exodus in 1960. It's been said that Jill Hawthorne was his romantic interest for several years and he met her while filming Exodus. Jill passed away in 2010 at the age of 65 in her Manhattan apartment of natural causes. Sal Minio was one of the first actors to openly state that he was bisexual, making him a favorite of the gay community. During his short career, Minio was in more than 21 films plus numerous TV and stage productions. Now later as Sal's films uh, career began to fade, he returned to the stage, his first love. But on the night of the 12th of February in 1976, Sal Menio returning to his West Hollywood apartment that he had rented at 8569 Holloway Drive. After coming from a rehearsal, in a play that he was starring in uh, called the P.S. Your Cat is Dead, a comedy. Now the actor pulled his blue Chevrolet into this driveway and parked in the carport. He got out of his car and started walking towards his apartment. Several people in the apartment complex heard his screams for help. Raymond Evans was one of them. He tried to administer artificial respiration, but Minio was unresponsive. There was exact an extra amount of blood, and the actor had been stabbed only once, which is curious, but that one stab pierced his heart. Minio was dead within five to six minutes, it's estimated. There was found $21 still in his pants pocket. He was still wearing all of his jewelry and his car keys were laying on the ground beside him. In a short time a crowd had gathered. Witnesses gave various descriptions of the killer running from the scene. Police developed several theories, none of which developed any leads, and the case grew cold until May of 1977 when Theresa Williams reported to police that her husband, Lionel Ray Williams, had come home that night with blood on his clothes and admitted that he had killed someone. 
Williams had an extensive rap sheet. Although he did not know at first it was Minio, the 17-year-old intended to just rob for money to satisfy his drug habit. He was not charged with a murder until 1978 while serving time for check forgery in a Michigan jail. He bragged to inmates that he had killed Sal Minio. He was brought back to L.A. and charged with the murder. The prosecution was facing an uphill battle because of the different descriptions given by witnesses. Also, the loss of their primary witness, Theresa Williams, on learning that, that Lionel had been arrested, she committed suicide by putting a bullet through her head. The trial lasted some two and a half months. Lionel Ray Williams was convicted for murder of Sal Minio in 1979 and given 51 year sentence. Eleven years later, in 1990, he was paroled. However, his, he's reported to have been back in prison for parole violations. Sal Minio is buried at the Gate of Heaven Cemetery in Hawthorne, New York, close to his father and his brother Michael. Sal Minio was 37 years old.